Hey all here, OS Reviews here watching our hands-on review of the Dr. Viva i7A fitness tracker. This brand was previously known as iWanFit, which may be more familiar to you guys. They came out with many fitness trackers over the past two years, but uh, they've changed their name in the United States, but it's the same company. This is their latest generation fitness tracker that has a color display. It's fully touchscreen as well, so similar to the Xiaomi Mi Band 3 and the Huawei Honor Band 4 that we saw, you can touch the entire display to interact with it. The previous generation model was called the i6 HRC that has a color display, but you had to remove it from the band just to access the USB port for charging. Now we have an easier mechanism for releasing the strap that makes it easier to charge, and it also features a color screen by default. Uh, previously, the HRC came with a color screen, but the i6 actually came with a black and white display, so now the base model is in full color. It is using an IPS LCD panel, however, that measures 0.96 inches, as opposed to AMOLED, which you find on the more expensive honor band. Now it does offer a battery life that's rated to last up to seven days, dynamic heart rate tracking, it has seven sports that you can track which is pretty cool. Of course you can see notifications and then inside we just have a quick user manual documented in Chinese and English and we have just the band itself. Uh, it doesn't have a USB cable because it still uses a standard USB port to be charged. Instead of having to pull the entire band out from the strap, the two straps can be released by these doors which you can just press down like this and it simply then can be popped open like that. It's also less prone to wearing down as easily uh, as you can see there compared to this which requires more flexing and then actually pulling in and out of the rubber. We have just a plastic build on the back with the optical heart rate sensor um, so it doesn't have any aluminum or metal components but it is quite lightweight. So as a quick size comparison here it is next to the i6 uh, and here is the Honor Band 4 aforementioned. They're all pretty similar in terms of size and overall weight. Also very similar looking at the profiles from the side in terms of overall thickness. Moving into the user interface next, we can see we have a pretty colorful display. Again, it is an IPS panel, but we do still have a pretty contrasty and punchy looking uh, image in terms of the difference between the black and the color. It almost feels like AMOLED, but it's not quite as vibrant or bright. Um, otherwise, we have just a clock, we have a battery status, and there's also weather information on the bottom. I can swipe down to access speedometer, so number of steps. I can actually tap on that button here to take a more specific look at a kind of heart rate, uh, calorie calories burned, distance walked, number of steps, and then tap on the up key there to go back. Sliding down, we have training, which includes the seven sports. Now, they're not labeled by name, so they're only icons, which uh, takes a little bit of time to get used to. But for instance here, I've activated the badminton mode. And when you activate a sports, it's going to always have the continuous heart rate tracking turn on, which is pretty cool. And it's also going to tell you how many calories you've burned. So you can more precisely track certain types of workouts and if you're satisfied you can tap on stop there and that will uh, kind of save it as a log for the next time when you sync it with your phone. So you do have a few training modes for specific sports which is pretty cool including cycling, ba basketball, soccer, there's also ping pong which is interesting and it just goes all the way back. Uh, in terms of function, we have access to here a uh, ability to change the watch face so we have a few different options here. Overall, the touchscreen is quite uh, sensitive and easy to use. With that being said, it is a plastic touchscreen just like on the i6 that we saw. It is curved, but it's not protected by something like Corning Gorilla Glass or Sapphire, so it may be more prone to scratching. That is one sacrifice that you'll have to keep in mind because of the slightly lower cost. So essentially under the first page is where you'll find all of your quick health statistics. So you have to tap on this first page to see steps in addition to heart rate and calories burned and distance. I kind of do wish that these would have been separate pages pages just from the main home screen that you can see right at once instead of having to go into this panel uh, because I think that they're pretty core functions. And one other thing to keep in mind is it doesn't give you a panel specifically for sleep tracking. So if you want to see that information, it's only accessible through the app. So there still are a few limitations, but overall it's quite simple to understand. The name of the health app has been changed from I Want Fit to Zero Neur Health Pro, but the interface remains largely the same. We just have a main homepage that tells us our status in terms of number of steps, heart rate, information completed, and under device is where we can bind a new product, including a bracelet, which we are going to tap on here, allow it to turn on Bluetooth. The band, by the way, uses Bluetooth version 4.2, so the same as before. It's rated to be IP67 certified, so you can take it for swimming and showering and it will survive. So there's a slight tutorial here, and this is what a notification will look like. 
All right, so let's skip that, and we are now binded. The battery remaining on the band is 23%. We can also set up alarms. The band does have a vibration motor, so you can use it to kind of tell you when notifications arrive. There's also sedentary reminders, so after sitting down for more than 30 minutes, because it has an accelerometer, it will vibrate and tell you to get up and move. Now, another cool feature I forgot to mention previously is there's actually a small LED on this new band. You can see it below here, and this is a multicolor LED that can change from blue to red to green that simply corresponds to your heart rate. So if you see that LED turn red, your heart rate is extreme. If you see that LED turn orange, it's in aerobic mode. So without even turning on the display, you can quickly glance over and see what the heart rate uh, sensor is detecting. So other things that you can set up, including times when the heart rate is automatically taken at uh, during the day. You can also change the language of the watch, which is uh, pretty cool. It includes Chinese, German, Japanese, Korean. You may change the format of the watch from 24 hours back to 12 hours, which I think some people will actually prefer. All right, so under the first tab, we have just our basic data. And from here, if I pull down, it's going to refresh that and it will show me number of steps I've walked as well as number of calories burned for the entire day. Center tab is going to be for specific sports like running, riding, speed walking, different types of ball sports like soccer, basketball, call them balling, and there's also mountain nearing uh, and other sports. So you can tap on these to manually begin a sport tracking session. And of course, down below here, we have then our sleep tracking information. So overall, I find that the app interface is quite simple, easy to understand, and it's, again, basically the same app as we've been seeing from the company already. So let's talk a little bit about the accuracy of the tracker. All in all, I'm fairly satisfied uh, in terms of its sensors. Waking it up from sleep using the wrist motion works well. Number of steps is uh, fairly similar to the previous iWanFit i6, and uh, also quite similar to the Xiaomi Mi Band 3. If anything, this version sometimes underestimates your steps a little bit and counts uh, false positives too easily where you just shake it and it counts as a step. In my opinion, that's actually worse. Uh, this seems to do a decent job there. Sleep tracking also fairly good in my testing. Um, otherwise, in terms of heart rate, it's actually quite fast. This is certainly a very attractive option, especially at only 25 bucks. That is in line with the Xiaomi Mi Band 3, but I would argue this has more features like continuous heart rate tracking, more sports, as well as a color display, and also being fairly comfortable and also waterproof to just wear and kind of forget about it. If you already have an i6 band, I wouldn't say the i7 is an absolute upgrade. Uh, in terms of features, it doesn't add too much that's new, but minor details like the band strap has been improved upon, and uh, overall it still represents a pretty good value. And now for a special giveaway announcement. So this is made possible thanks to Dr. Viva slash I Want Fit. It's going to be the last giveaway of this holiday season. And essentially you can win one of these wearables. Uh, if you are picked as the one winner, you're able to select either the P1 smartwatch, the i7A, or the previous i6 HRC. So your favorite uh, one in terms of design and features, you can revisit our previous reviews of these two wearables as well. I'll leave some links down below to refresh your memories. And then if you are selected as the winner, you can pick the one of your choice. You should be subscribed to this channel and leave a comment below. It can be anything related to either the i7A, which we reviewed, or it can also tell us your preference, uh, which one of these three bands is your favorite. So please know that to claim your prize, you need to have a address that you can use. All right, so that's all for now. Good luck. And that's been our uh, review of the Dr. Viva i7A Smart Fitness Tracker.